we need to understand just two simple angles in a circle. First, an angle like this with its vertex at the center of the circle is called a central angle. It's simple. They are just two radii forming an angle. And the second type? It's an angle which has its vertex at the circumference of the circle. Such angles are called inscribed angles. Vertex at the center, central angle and vertex on the circumference, inscribed angle. These two angles are related in a special way. Let's draw an inscribed angle. The vertex is on the circumference. If you notice, this angle subtends an arc here. Let's call it arc ACB. How do we draw the central angle of the same arc? Yes, like this. Vertex at the center. This is the central angle and this is the inscribed angle. Now we come to the most vital point of this session. The inscribed angle is exactly half of the central angle that subtends the same arc. If this will be 40 degrees, then this will measure 80 degrees. Conversely, if this is 70, then this will be 35 degrees. Let's look at a special case of this. Look at this figure and guess the inscribed and the central angles assuming PQ is a line segment passing through the center. Ok, angle PRQ is the inscribed angle as its vertex lies on the circumference and the arc it subtends is arc PSQ. The question we should ask ourselves is, what is the central angle of arc PSQ? It's angle POQ. Doesn't quite look like an angle as it is a straight line, but it definitely is. It's this angle. The inscribed angle is half of the central angle. Do we know angle POQ? Of course, if it is a straight angle, it will measure 180 degrees. Angle PRQ will measure half times 180 degrees which will be 90 degrees. It is a right angle, PQ is the diameter and two semicircles are formed. Here's a typical kind of problem that you might see in your exams. We are given the measure of angle ADB is 30 degrees. The area of the circle is given as 9 pi and we are asked to find the length of arc ACB. So we have been asked to find this curved length. All we have is the area of the circle and the measure of this angle. What do we need to find the length of an arc? Yes, the first thing required is its central angle. We can draw two radii like this and call it central angle theta. The length of arc ACB will be theta over 360 degrees times the circumference which is 2 pi r. Out of the two unknowns on the right, we have none. But can we find them? Probably. Theta is the central angle of arc ACB which is the arc subtended by this inscribed angle. And we learned that the inscribed angle is exactly half of the central angle that subtends the same arc. 30 being half of theta implies that theta will be twice that of 30. It will be 2 times 30 degrees which equals 60 degrees. We have found one unknown. How do we find the radius? Don't forget we have also been given the area. The area is 9 pi and the area of a circle is pi r squared. Solving this gives us the value of r as 3 centimeters. Substituting these values here, we get the length of arc ACB as pi centimeters. <laughs>